Vivekanand's 115th birth anniversary, a one-of-a-kind laser show was organized at the new Stafford Center in Texas. The unique biographical interpretation of segments of Swamiji's life had the audience glued to their seats. The event was part of Seva International's annual fundraiser. Manisha Gandhi for TV Asia here in Houston, Texas at the new Stafford Center. Seva International has organized a wonderful event, a laser show about the life of Swami Vivekananda, whose famous address in Chicago in 1893 gave the message of Hinduism and what India has to offer to the world. He was an exponent of Vedanta and gave the message all throughout India as well as the world. interfaith awareness. The show was a dream of Manik Sarkar and after significant efforts it has come to fruition. The show had the audience spellbound. The organizers say passing on Swamiji's teachings can help the Indian American youth become self-aware and be more proud of their Indian heritage. Swamiji's influence on the Western world is immeasurable. I have been inspired by Swami Vivekananda ever since I was a little boy. My father is the one who taught me about Swami Vivekananda and slowly I fell in love with him. All the speeches, all the vanis, all the messages that he has given throughout his 40 years, towards 39 years, he couldn't even be 40. He just gives me goosebumps, inspires me. So this particular show that you have seen, uh, I started, uh, its root went back to 2005, when with my Shika, with my wife Shika, I paid a visit to the Art Institute in uh, Chicago. And uh, over there, obviously, I was looking for any kind of trace that I could find of his footprint, subconsciously hoping that I'll find something that Vivekananda had left for me to go and discover. Of course, it doesn't work that way, but I found a spot where he gave the speech, and it thrilled me. At that time, I knew that this is a man I'm going to do a documentary about, and with the help of the cutting edge technology of laser. No, the, I'm always my inspiration. So I'm always behind it. And I'm very happy that the whole thing came out so good. I'm touched for, for both of you, and uh, your goal has been achieved, and the world will gain so much more from listening. Thank you so much. <laughs> educating people about Swami Vivekananda and entertaining them was organized to help raise funds for Seva International and the organizers were delighted with the turnout. Seva has done something very special. They're all the projects are in Houston local community and we decided we want to serve the local community instead of outside community. Our each single project is connected with Houston. Whether it's a summer program, internship program, or Bhutani refugee program, or GIH, which is Get Inspired Houston, or another program. So we are proud of this, that we are serving in Houston. Seva International, in a way, is the organization that gives back to Houston. Our commitment is to do service 
to the South Asian community and the overall American community in Houston. And we have been doing this for last, last almost 10 years. This is the 10th year of Seva International. We have a helpline that anybody can call and ask for help at the time of crisis. And we specialize with the immigrant needs. You can speak all the languages. So it's a, it's a fantastic message to get out and let be known in the community. Uh, it was again and again told um, during the show that Swamiji believed in uh, service above self and Seva does exactly what Swamiji means and said. And I think uh, this event was um, something that portrayed exactly what he meant, what he felt. And we as volunteers for SEVA, I, I work for SEVA, but all the volunteers and all the people behind the scene have made it possible for all the people in Houston to see and witness something that's so amazing and to actually get inspired by. And I Swami Bibi Vishnanda left the monastery to live as a penniless monk, wandering all over India. He traveled far and wide for five years visiting important learning centers, acquainting himself with diverse religious traditions and different walks of life. He traveled mostly on foot and at times on trains with tickets bought by admirers and disciples whom he met during the travels. He went to Varanasi, the city of light and the Shiva temple by the Ganges. Ayodhya, the sacred city of Lord Rama. Vrindavan, the city of Lord Krishna, Pushkar, the birthplace of Lord Brahma, and Rishikesh, the land of peace and spirituality. Let's say for 